Um, one of the things I'm really keen on in my courses is what we call peer-to-peer -peer teaching. Uh, students saying things to educate and help other students understand parts of the course. And in the international business courses that I teach, I have a little section called Mother Tongue Marketing. Uh, the purpose of this section is learning about the language and the customs of your customers in another culture. So you can use marketing promotion techniques that will fit that culture and be uh, successful, especially in a very competitive environment around the world where many companies selling branded consumer products are reaching out to get new uh, customers from different ethnic groups. So what I recognized many years ago is in my class we have a mini United Nations and depending on each year we've got students from particular Asian countries, Latin American countries, Middle Eastern countries, African countries, Eastern Europe, Western Europe, uh, tout le monde. And I thought it would be useful to take advantage of their experiences having uh, lived there to be able to tell the rest of the students what are some of the things about those cultures which you need to know to be effective in marketing. And we started this uh, back in 2003-2004. We built up quite a list here, divided it in different categories. We obviously have some things from Jamaica. Uh, and every section starts out with things in X culture you need to know to be successful marketing to those people. So we got things from Jamaica, Barbados, Panama. We have some countries from Latin America. We've got uh, Peru, Guyana, uh, countries in Asia Pacific. We've got uh, obviously uh, Singapore, Korea, uh, Japan, and China, as, as well as Vietnam. Uh, nobody's asked anything from Taiwan, though. Uh, we've got uh, Philippines. We've also got a little short thing on Australia. Nobody sent anything from some New Zealand. We've got India, uh, Sri Lanka, nobody, I also have a small section on Pakistan. We have a couple of countries in the Middle East, somebody sent in some information about Iraq and Iran, United Arab Emirates. We've had a number of students from Dubai, and Dubai is a, uh, almost a unique culture on its own, so I'd welcome con contributions about Dubai. Africa, big place, one country, one contribution, Tanzania, we need some more contributions about things you need to know in a certain country in Africa. Uh, Europe, we've got some things people wrote briefly about Scotland and Ireland. Italy, it was almost all about soccer. Uh, Germany, uh, we've also got some contributions about Poland, a small country, Moldova, uh, Bulgaria, uh, Greece, uh, France, Malta, and there's many other European countries that we've got students coming from, so I welcome those contributions, as well as the former countries of the Soviet Union as well. The section on uh, Americans is quite thin and not actually made by American students, so if we've got any American students, that would be a welcome contribution as well. So you can earn class participation marks by sending information to be part of these units. Just look at what was said about the other countries and put it in the context of things you need to know about that culture to sell them consumer products.